If I pee myself, I'm sorry. Yeah, Wouldn't be the first time pinch. I've been peed on in here. Yeah. Okay, and deep breath in. What's up everyone? My name is Lexus Moore David and it has been so freaking long since I filmed a video. Even though I haven't posted a video for the past couple months, I have been filming so you guys can see my hair getting braided, my ears getting pierced, my life happening. But before we get into any of like the old footage, I just want to sit down with you right here, right now, while I do my makeup and I want to talk to you guys about where I'm at in life. <laughs> I am going to try to explain so much to you guys without having a potty mouth. Ugh, new challenge 2018. Be mad and don't use any cuss words. It's freaking difficult. I just finished cussing someone out maybe 10 minutes ago. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves is like when grown men act like little girls. <laughs> when grown men act like little girls and that's what was happening. But I'm gonna get into all of that right now. So there have been three main things happening this month with me. For starters, I am transferring to a university in a month and a half. I was so conflicted because I was like, the one I want to go to is an hour and a half away. And there's another university about 20 minutes from my house. <laughs> so I was like, okay, one, I can stay at home. I've been renting a room for my grandma for seven years. So I can stay at home, take care of her. She can take care of me. We can be together for longer and I can just save so much money in like housing and commuting and you know doing that and then I was like well the bigger and you know seemingly better school is far commuting it's possible but it's going to take a lot of the college experience away so I was super conflicted because one would help me like <laughs> I look like freaking Santa Claus but yeah I was like so one will help my wallet more and then one will potentially help me grow as a person more so I was very, very conflicted and I ended up choosing my dream school. I know one person who goes to the school and he just got accepted when I got accepted. We're going to be starting the school at the same time. He's the mofo that pissed me off today. So we're going to come around to that. <laughs> Even though I've been extraordinarily overwhelmed, I know everything's going to work out. Like I'm a person of faith. I know it's going to work out, but it's still like a long road getting to it working out, you know, because in the next month and a half, I've defined another job, a place to live, a way to fix my car or a different cheaper car. I have to like friends, people around there, the, the neighborhood, a new church, everything, everything is changing so quickly. My 23rd birthday is next month. Like so much adult stuff is happening in my life and I've been trying to not get extraordinarily overwhelmed. On top of that, if you guys watched my last mukbang, I'll link it down below, but I actually told you guys that I had my heart broken. So in March, my heart was completely ripped out of my body. <laughs> um, I experienced heartbreak for the second time in my life and it was less fun than the first time. Let me tell you that. <laughs> I basically just spent a year and a half loving someone who I think is just incapable of loving me no matter how much they say they do. It's so difficult to find somebody that you love and that you care for and they're telling you, hey, the same way that you love me, I love you. The same way you care for me, I care for you. Everything you're feeling is reciprocated. Don't give up on me. And then you, you get to that point to where you realize like, in my attempt to not give up on you, I've given up on me. So long story short, I was fully into someone who was partially into me. Like, he was one foot in, one foot out, and I was both feet in. So I think it, it just, it was uneven. There was just so much, I don't know. I don't know, and it's like, it's so hard. If you're loving someone who's not loving you back, and you're loving them so much that you're not loving yourself, if you're not loving you and they're not loving you, who's loving you? So I had to get to that point of like, hey, this is so uneven. Things aren't being reciprocated, like basic things. Like the basis of any type of relationship is a friendship. If I'm questioning whether or not you're a good friend, then there's a problem with that. So I found the strength in my heart to walk away and it sucked because he was still one foot in, one foot out. So it's like, even after I left, open the door. 
Hi. Conversation. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Oh, okay. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a heated conversation I in a way. On the phone. <laughs> oh, no way. Okay, Do you want to say hello? Awesome. Come pick in and say hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh. Such great lighting. It really is. Oh my goodness, it's so hot outside. Yeah, you so feel so warm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I told you guys earlier that I just finished getting mad at a mofo. She's gonna be hearing it for the first time too. Oh I know. Um, but yeah, so long story short, I had to walk away. It wasn't a good thing, and it took a hell of a lot for me to get to that point. So there was that. So those were the two big things going on within the past couple months. And lastly, the main thing that's been occupying this month is that there was a near-death experience in my family, and that's all I want to say because it's not my story to tell. So. On to this mofo. I told them that a, a good challenge is when you're mad to tell a story without cussing. <laughs> I had a friend um, that I had class with three years ago and <laughs> he is the only person <laughs> that I know that's going to the school that I'm going to. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> he had asked me like a week ago would I be open to moving in with him and his friend? I'd be open to that. I, I've never like really lived with a man before, but I, I don't. I think if you're helping me with rent, I don't really care as long as I have my own room. We've never hung out, so we're not like friend friends. We're more like friendly acquaintances who have talked over the length of three years. There was a few people that I was going to go down to the school because it's um, an hour and a half away, and I was gonna go down and look at their room for rent. And there were a few girls that were like, okay, we have a house of just girls. Are you interested? This and that, whatever. One of them wrote me this morning like, hey, are you still going to come by? Stuff like that. And so I wrote the guy and I was like, are we for sure like going to pursue a place together? Me, you, and your friend? Because if not, I have other people that like, I'm trying to find a place to live. I have a month and a half to find a place to live. You know, is this something that we're doing? And he was like, yeah, I told you that you're welcome to stay with us. I think that that's way better than us trying to find places separately. I think that it would really help with rent and whatever. And I was like, okay, well, we should have a group chat. So anything that I find, you guys find, we can all put it in the group, we can all see it. I still have no idea who his friend is, so I'm like, you know. I, I wrote him that yesterday, he didn't respond. I've tried to call him on two different days this week. He's just busy and he hasn't given me like a callback time or like whatever and it's like, you're not that freaking busy. So, <laughs> so I asked him today, I was like, hey, this is shelter. This isn't me saying like, hey, do you wanna hang out and go be friends? This is no, I need to know what I'm doing for the roof over my head for the next year that we're trying to lease a place because it's for a year at a time. So it's like, I need to know what I'm doing because I need to know what kind of deposit I'm looking at because I need to put money into my car. So. I'm explaining these things. We were talking about how difficult it is to find a place and he said that his friend has no work experience. And I was like, how old is your friend? What? Like is this like a freshly graduated high school friend or is this like a my age adult friend? Cause if you're my age and you have no work experience, I have a problem with that. And he was like, oh well he's been very spoiled. His parents just give him money. When he, um, to like go off to college, his grandma gave him a hundred grand. Thank you! I was like, I've never seen a hundred grand! That's all well and good, but at the end of the day, someone who's like leasing a place is going to look at your income, not your savings. And he's like, yeah, so you know, his parents would have to co-sign or whatever. And I'm like, okay, but if I'm relying on somebody's parents to pay the rent, I need to know. So I was like, so when are you free for us to sit down and grab a coffee and talk? You know, because we need to talk. <laughs> and he was like trying to be joking. He was like, oh, are you breaking up with me? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, ha, 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 when can we meet? <laughs> and he was like, you know, and I told him about the girls. Like, you know, I'm trying to find a place. I just need to know. Because I will turn down people if you're serious. And I will start looking for empty, vacant places instead of people who are looking for a roommate. He was just kind of like, well, I don't know. Because I, I basically work my life away and then I go to the gym. And I was like, you work eight hours a day, right? So you have time. And I don't want to be priorities. like, yes, that's what I was saying. I was like, it's priorities. You have time. So I was like, this is something that will get me to walk away. 
So when are you free? I'm asking again. I've tried to call you. You're not answering. I'm asking you for a time that you're free. I'm not even telling you times I'm free. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you when are you free? And an hour goes by and he doesn't respond. <laughs> And then he writes me, because I, I told him, I said, this might be enough to get me to walk away. So an hour goes by and he writes me, go ahead. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> I had to breathe for a second. Everything I wanted to tell him, um, yeah, no, I wouldn't feel bad. Everything I wanted to tell him, well, it was just going to be a lot. And I was just thinking, this, like, S-O-B-M-F and T-T-F-F, no, like, all of the acronyms in this book on this mofo. I ended up telling him, like, hey, I've spent, like, a week looking for places. I've been open-minded. I've been forgiving. I still have no idea who your friend is, how old he is. I don't know how long you guys have known each other or what, but I've been, you know, putting a lot out there and getting nothing in return. I think you're sipping that bullshit. <laughs> At the end, I was like, you sipping that BS. At the end of the day, I'm happy for all of us that we got accepted. I hope you find a good fit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Because I was like, he's not even worth the anger, but oh, is there anger. And then he was just like, well, I'm sure we'll see each other. So make that sure to let me insane. know how the search goes and stuff like that. We were just talking about how being inconsiderate like just made the list of like... <laughs> it's number freaking one. Why are your words and actions so different? You are a grown man acting like a... <laughs> yes. I have this Milani Rose Amour lipstick. I think it's too pink for me, but I got it because my middle name's on it. So, let's just slap that on. Oh, that's that super high pink one. Yeah, this is oh, like the no, Barbie. That's the one that got me. It's super, super Barbie pink. Yeah. I cleaned all my makeup brushes. I feel so good about that. This is really, really pink. Um, all right, let's yeah, but try. It's cute pink. Well, thank you. Hopefully, the lashes will diffuse it a little <laughs> bit. I'm over here watching James Charles. Oh yeah. Yeah. He just posted a video two hours ago. You know what? He is talented. You cannot take that away from him. He's an extremely creative person. He and he executes it well. Yeah. <clears throat> What happens when little girls get hurt? <laughs> so we were at In and Out oh my God. a few years it back wasn't my fault. in high school. How dare and you. we walk in and we see this little girl and Brianna's like, you know that little girl? I don't like her face. Wow. So, oh so she got God. so she got this lemon right, and she's like, hey Lex, watch this. <laughs> she goes up straight to the little girl. She punches her in the face. <laughs> Slaps her with a lemon. Oh my goodness. True story. What had happened was, <laughs> we were in high school and we went to In N Out and we were with two guys, her ex and his friend. <laughs> that, I feel bad saying that. Our friend. <laughs> that sounds so bad. No. Demoted. <laughs> so, anyways, her ex, this one, <laughs> kept throwing stuff at me across the table because they were sitting next to each other and then me and the other guy were sitting next to each other and so behind them were a family of like five <laughs> so then at the booth behind them a little girl was facing towards me so I went to throw a lemon at him and he dodged it the freaking lemon hits the little girl in the eye and she starts screaming <laughs> Her mother gave me a death stare. I, was like, I felt so bad because it couldn't have been more deserving. I deserved it. But it was because of her freaking eggs. Like, it was. It was his fault. It was. You're still a D-bag for that moment. But I forgive you. If you're watching this, thank you for supporting my channel. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. <laughs> right. That we happened after time. she punched the little girl in the face. Oh my goodness. And then she asked her mama, do you want some too? You're so stupid. Over my like absence, you guys still have been writing me on social me media, which I really genuinely appreciate. Ishal Hassan. Ishal Hassan. <laughs> Thank you for writing me because you wrote me last week and you said, when are you going to post your next video? I miss your videos. And I felt like such a distant douchebag and I really appreciate you giving me that little push and you making me feel wanted. So thank you. Thank you, Isha. 
haven't done my makeup in so long. Oh my gosh. I feel like the last time I did my makeup was the transfer center celebration. <laughs> Oh, that was another thing that happened in the past few months, guys. <laughs> we had a celebration at my college, uh, the one that I graduated from, for all the people who are transferring and going to a different school. And the chair of the transfer center asked me to give a speech. So I gotta give a speech, guys. It was yeah. awesome. Oh, thank you. Really I know it was funny. Oh, thank and you. Was <laughs> when was that celebration? Was that like a... Like a month ago? Oh, crap. Okay, this color isn't bad. Super pink, I might have to calm it down a little bit. But this is the last thing. I don't really think I need blush because whenever I get winded, I turn pink on my own, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching a guy eat jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Matt Sony. Oh, I love him. Yeah. Choco taco. Marco Polo. Nacho. Libre. <laughs> This is a soft look, hope you guys like it. Camera's super, super dying. So, we got our ears pierced. Isn't that right, Mole? We got the helix done. Um, I got it done on both sides. I'm coming I was, <laughs> I'm coming. I was with her for her first piercing. Well, I mean, yeah. as an adult. <laughs> yeah. Let's just transition to that. Go and enjoy our piercings. Do that. Oh gosh, is this happening right now? Ew. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Friends forever. Oh crap, is the needle already up there? Needle's right here. Okay, deep breath in. Okay, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Just breathe easy. The needle's nice, not there. Close nice your eyes. Deep, slow breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Nice okay. and easy, kind of pursed lips a little bit, you know. Nice. Okay. Deep breath in. Nice and easy. Exhale all the way out. One, two, three. It's <gasps> done. Thank you. Tyree. What's up? Oh, What's up? It's time to go. Do you think we're going to look right with it? Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Exhale. Three. Go, buddy. Looking fresh, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's in there. Oh god. Oh god. You can feel that. Okay, and deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. One, two, three. There we go. That's the hurt. the worst part right there is just when it's just sitting in there after. The worst part is I'm changing it to an earring. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the worst. Well no, all of it. It was okay. Everything it was, was horrible. Okay. <laughs> that the whole process. She's just taking it like a champ. You know what? I'm I... literally thinking about getting the other oh. side. Oh. To be straight. Oh. Is it bloody? No. Okay, two breath in. Exhale all the way out. One, two, three. Surprisingly, that one hurt more. Are you surprised? <laughs> Can't see it on your face. <laughs> Life has built my pain tolerance. <laughs> oh my, that's dark. <laughs> no, that's true. That's yes. Yeah. He just stuck a needle through my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trip. I was like, go ahead and do it. We're good. Good morning, guys. So I have a few things that I wanted to do today, but firstly, before I do anything, I have to clean my room. This is gonna suck. Okay, so here is the update. It is day 46 and I hate my life. <laughs> so this is what I have done so far. I have 10 braids after four hours. I require a medic. <laughs> Donuts. <laughs> Bros. 
Nah, nah. Okay, but yes, yeah, so we crisscross <laughs> the hair like Brianna showed us to do. Grab the chunk of hair and then we, um, <laughs> we say a prayer. <laughs> and we grab and we pull tight until you feel your scalp bleeding. Oh. <laughs> And then when you're done, it's probably still gonna be loose. And then you see it slowly unravel. <laughs> but you tuck it back. Okay. Um, oh and then you passive aggressively unbraid it. <laughs> Everyone has their own way of putting the fake hair into her hair. But I'm just gonna try to get it as tight as possible. How does that feel on your sensitive scalp? <laughs> <laughs> the pain of doing see. it alone is worse. <laughs> see, her braid looks clean, and there's only a tiny bit of little scruff to that we cut off with the scissors. Mine, like, unravels. So it's 9 a.m. the next morning. I was being taught how to braid my hair yesterday, as you know, and um, five hours later, 10 braids were done. 10 in five hours. Let me tell you what happened yesterday, okay? I got my helix pierced like a week and a half ago, right? This freaking mofo yesterday, I hit it with the comb when I was detangling my hair and I ripped out my freaking piercing. Oh my gosh, I, there was so much pain I couldn't talk for a minute. the lid to my foundation crap